Okay. And we're back here with a fan cycle switch. This one's 225 and 150. We would like to rather see something like about 180, 240. But this is all I had. But it'll work. Anyway. And the unit's off inside. Somebody must have got cold and shut it off. And this is something else we're going to need. These are swivels. i got to make a connection onto the high side. That'll be over here. So, this is what we use, an adapter for this here. So, what we want to do is prep everything on here. Now, I should have a little... There. That'll be for my pressure gauge. Yeah. So goes through. And that does have a core depressor, but we are gonna make sure this goes on without a hitch. some of this stuff on here. Don't want to get it on the first couple of threads. Doesn't matter because you just don't want this stuff getting inside. Keep it back. The seal is supposed to be made inside on the face of the flare anyway. That little 45 right there is where the actual seal is made this stuff ain't gonna hold back nothing but just an insurance policy if anything it'll slow it down maybe hmm, what is that that's half do I need a 9 16 Probably the only one I don't have in here, right? Hmm. Son of a gun. That's gotta be my last job site. Shit, I had that before. I don't want to screw up the threads on this thing, so I'm going to just put that on there. There we are. That's good. Now when I put this on that core, we'll actually depress the valve on there. And then... I can use this here for my gauges. I'm going to get some spillage on this, no doubt. No 
way to avoid it. That's why I hate these damn tools. They open and close, open and close on you. connect this up onto the fan before I touch anything on here gotta kill the power to this this is 2A okay it is 2A sure everything on there is actually dead. Okay, yeah, I'm not getting any beeps. Yeah, we're good. Gotta be careful with this thing, though. That is still holds a charge. Feed. <laughs> 